This is my story. Race, religion, place, face, story. Um, my performance is about the struggles we go through every day. So I'm not looking at any specific socio-political issue. I'm looking at the human struggle from a very basic point of view. What do you wake up to? What do you think, uh, think about the situation going on around you in your immediate surroundings? And how do you respond to your environment? So that's what my performance is about. I'm originally from Zimbabwe and I've been in the US for four years now. I lived in London, England, where I studied for four years also. So I've been away from home for eight years. So being away from home makes me realize what home means to me. And what home means to me is a place where you can fully express yourself and just not worry about what the outcome of that would be. So you're not worried about being judged. You're, you're basically just being you. So that's what my performance will focus on on the 4th of June. I will look at my situation in the US. I will uh, recall memories from home and um, create a, a performance from there. What the, within, within the performance, I will also have poetry and I'll read one of the poems I'll perform for you. So usually I perform on the spot, create on the spot and just deliver on the spot because I want it to be within, you know, to capture the essence of the moment. But for this one, I've got backup and um, one of the poems I've, uh, I'm going to perform is um, called, This Cage Is Me because I feel like we are, we are our own traps. That someday you will see my face upon that day my prayer, innocence lost without trace, another day, no answers, more questions. That someday you will see my face and walk through the path I walked and feel the thorn in the flesh a second time. Pain loses definition without pleasure, one without the other is another day. More questions, no answers. That someday you will wipe away the tear from my eye and gently caress my fear. This cage I rattle, this cage that holds me prisoner. Its bars stand unbroken. None have the nerve to set me free. For this deep dark prison from which I have spoken is not theirs, but mine is me. Prisoner I have become to self without with none to blame. Habit and character form this formidable wall upon which none hear my call. For as an echo, it bounces back to me, you see. I grow weary of echoes for they bear truth that being this deep dark present from which I speak is me, none can turn the key and set me free. For I am this deep dark prison, this cage I rattle, this cage is me. Another day, no answers, more questions. You see. So that's one of the performances I will do at um, Pro Arts, and the other performance I will do is uh, based on a uh, on an um, Iki Ika Mouse song called um, Schizophrenic. So basically, I think that when one moves away from home, it's like a schizophrenic situation. You you're looking at things and wondering if. It's you who thinks they're odd, or you who thinks they're interesting, or are they really odd and in interesting? So it becomes a, a very perilous situation where you sometimes are not aware of what the truth is, where the light is. So um, schizophrenic is going to be a really physical act because it will be to a soundtrack, and I will perform the action to to give the idea of um, being lost in a new place, having um, stepped away from home. The, the other performance I will do is um, called Read Your Mind. And basically, Read Your Mind is about reading your handwriting. So I will ask people to write their name, the date, and just, just one line of what they like, and I will read their handwriting and tell them who they are by looking at their handwriting. 
Now the question is, um, do I know who they are through their handwriting? Can I tell who they are? Um, the, the thing about it is when I've performed this act in the past, I've usually managed to tell people who they are and what they do in their private lives without actually knowing what they do in their private life, simply by looking at their handwriting. So this performance kind of blurs the line between reality and fiction, and we get to question what is real and what is fictitious. So that performance is also coming on. So thanks a lot for watching, and um, I'll give you a glimpse into what schizophrenic will look like. Let me just get into the mode. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> Yeah, fuck. Am I supposed to come in now or later?